And how are you going? So this is just a test of the seafood. Yep. Yeah, welcome, welcome to uh, Neville Dawes' uh, Bottle Shed Collection. Yeah, let's have a look at it. What's your... Well, start from day one. These, these are bottles that were dug from rubbish tips in the Broken Hill, Broken Hill, Wentworth, Bell Reynold area, uh, starting off in about the mid-1960s. Yeah. Um, a good cross-section of Australian, early Australian bottles. Uh, dating from roughly the 1850s goldfield era right through to the early 1920s. So why did you... So why everyone had to have a hobby of some sort and it seemed to be a Dawes family thing. Both my father and both uncles were involved in it and so it became a, like a family outing to go and dig these bottles where we would spend the night at Wentworth overnight or Broken Hill get up the next day and dig until early afternoon, mm -hmm. then drive back home to Menangatang. So yeah, to start proceedings, uh, we'll give a, a quick uh, expose of the earliest bottles, which are your blacks. They're the Goldfield Blacks, 1850, 1860. None of them with embossing on them, but plainly spirits or uh, beer of some sort. Then you move down to your, uh, your more your medicinal ones and your poison bottles. Um, then you went to your ink, uh, which were some were glass and some were uh, pottery ones. Mm -hmm. uh, then down to clag bottles and uh, here is a, a very early double-ended baby's bottle, mm. complete with dust and all. And then to this side we have our pickle, pickle bottles, very early pickles. Um, down the bottom shelf there is another, another example of uh, what we call the manganese years between, and that's how we can date them, between 19, 1914 and 1924. Mm -hmm. Some bright spark put manganese in the glass and when it was manufactured yeah. From day one they were clear, and under sunlight, UV light, they went purple over a period of time. So that's how far they date back. Wow. So then we'll move on to some different types. Here you've got a very early gin, gin bottle, unbranded, but they were made or manufactured in a wooden mould. Had four bits of timber to start with and then they actually blew the glass into that to form its shape. Hmm. Got a bit of rope there. Now yeah. we go to the next ones of interest. No, nobody wanted to take these. If you're a bit constipated, <laughs> they gave you a dose of castor oil, very foul tasting, but it did the job effectively. Then moving down, we've got our Schweppes skittle shaped Lemonade bottles, yep. uh, more beers, uh, then more pickle jars, sauce bottles, aromatic schnapps. So how many have you got in the whole collection? You reckon? It's been a while since I've done a head camp, probably between 1,200 and 1,500 bottles all up. Then you move to your, your very early um, beer bottles, the, ri the ring seal ones, and the, the logo on there says MBCV, so that's Melbourne Brewing Company, Victoria. Uh, they had a cork in them with a foil top and a, a wire around the underneath side of that lip. Next shelf up we have our salad dressing, salad oil bottles. Next one up after that is more beers from different towns across Australia. Mm. And then on the top shelf here, these magnificent things were what they called cruets. They used to melt down precious metal into those clay pots and then it was held in a, a wire ring and they would tip it over into a mould, mm -hmm. whether it be gold or silver. 
Then up the top, the tall bottles up there are Champion Vinegar and Dimple Vinegar bottles. Then came the, the ones that got very commonly broken by children. They were soft drink bottles that had a glass marble in the top and used to seal up against the lip with a rubber ring. Yeah. And they used to smash those, of course, to uh, be able to play marbles. And then, yes, of, on this side, more manganese years bottles. Depending on how much manganese got into that glass mix as to how dark they went. This one obviously had a fair bit of manganese in the mix. Then down the bottom we've got some stout bottles, the uh, ceramic ones, or clay bottles. And the lower one here, these are ginger beer, I think. Very early, probably early 1900. I think we've just about covered it.